soft, soft, soft floor plastic. You're about everything I'm looking for in an ice cream cone. Tell me what is that? Uh, I hope you know how much you mean to me. <laughs> I guess a perplexed look. <laughs> yes. Favorite verbal or facial expression? No, it, it's it's what a turkey makes, the sound of a turkey backwards. El bag, el bag, el bag. Hola, guapos. It's dinner time. Cold meatballs are highly indigestible unless you eat them covered in cheese. Say it ain't so. Don't put no pressure on me. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Dude, rock out. Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? That's wicked cool. Hey, baby, what's shaking? Mmm, <laughs> good. It's awesome. Now what you gonna do? <laughs> now what you gonna do? Be cool, fool. <laughs> you done felt the punch in your eye? Now what you gonna do? <laughs> There's a pain that's gonna linger. <laughs> what you gonna do now? I ain't no bread. <laughs> now what you gonna do? <laughs> I live my life to be one of Mr. Cowan's happy campers. It's always better to look good than to feel good. Uh, that's it right there. Ah. Uh. Dude! Uh, today we're going to uh, do what's on the board. Uh. That'll work. See Paul to get up, booty yak him, leg it down, smack him, yak him. Assalamu alaikum. Favorite word or expression? Life is wonderful. I don't know. Damn Skippy, I guess. I don't know. Peace. Be all that you can be in the army. Peace. We can do this like Brutus. But we always knew this. Uh, everlasting job praise. I don't know, something like that. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, you all the way out of socket. <laughs> I ain't no toast. <laughs> That's a treat. I ain't no toast. Yeah, yeah dog, get, get busy. <laughs> if you cannot be an athletic participant, be an athletic supporter. Love means nothing to a tennis player. Party on, dudes. <laughs>
Dylan, you're a great water polo player. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'm dying here. I want you to I've been guarding the bench too long. You guys quit playing with a minute left. Beautiful shot. Center, he's got center. Okay, come on, guys. Win this. You <laughs> Yeah. Come on, Sullivan! I almost had him there. What? <laughs> Last cross country distance. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, the tennis team is a lot of fun this year. <laughs> We're losing the homecoming team. It's okay though. We're gonna win. We only have two minutes and 26 seconds. All I'm saying is it's on record that we're going to win. Join me, won't you? I have just a table for you. Come. Um, I'd kind of like to sit over here. Hong Kong Doby Bash for the perfect spot. Yes, yes, thank you. Quite, quite. I realize that at first glance, you may not notice my bulging muscles or be aware of my subtle manliness, but I'm drinking milk, which means I'm getting all the nutrients fats and mucus every CHS student needs to truly appreciate the high school experience. You can start the car now. Describe the innermost feeling that fills your soul when making that amazing masterpiece, the DNA molecule. Well, I was like really like, it was great because it was like I had to work on it all night. It took me like probably six hours trying to, you know, staple all this stuff. It was an empty feeling. Great sense of joy and excitement. I felt nothing. It was like biblical almost. It's like a messiah had come in. Well, after I uh, made it, I sort of saw them everywhere. I mean, they were just everywhere, cropping up all over the place. Making the DNA molecule was a nightmare. I don't think it me. We couldn't get away from them. They were like, what's it? And even though I'm still a lower classman, I'm still drinking milk and following Safety Pup's helpful advice. Buy low and sell high. See? Milk has already enhanced my pool of simple yet profound statements. The most important thing about junior year is getting your grades straight for college. Junior year? Piece of cake! Each week, we will be clipping off about two chapters. Well, the college process really, uh, oh, I, I don't know, I think it's pretty simple, actually. Now, the only thing you want to remember is you've got to sign up for the March 31st SAT. Now, if you miss the March 31st SAT... It's really too bad they don't have Cliff's Notes for poems, because you, you, know, you might, might have been able to do a little bit better job than, than what you've done here. What we have left to do is industrialization. 
the Progressive Era, World War I, the Great Depression, World War II, Vietnam. Now, ACTs, let's see, that's April 7th. Okay, you got that, April 7th, and you got to take the ACT. Of course, that's especially true if you didn't get the March 31st SAT, the May 5th SAT, which you can't take because of the Broadway show. It's uh, fragmentary at best. We have between now and May the 14th. Then you could take the ACT again on June 9th. Now, if you miss it on June 9th, the next time you'd be able to take it is next October, and that's really getting pretty late. So, now, does that clear up all the testing for you? Did you read the poem? It's the fun, the initiation into manhood. It's more power because we're, we're finally upperclassmen and we can look down on two classes now. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is not your lucky day. And even though I may think you're relatively attractive, that still doesn't change the fact that milk takes a priority over a simple female or any other earthly pleasure. Okay, I admit it. I'm a lactose junkie. If I didn't, if I didn't have any classes but still had to come to school, what would I do? I would probably sleep. If it's warm. Go to shop park, swing on the swing. Uh, Tighten my social skills. No, I think I'm just gonna polish off these donuts today. That's all I have planned. Yeah, sort of just hang out and, and chat. But if it was a nice day, I'd go sit out in the quad and lay out. I'd say I'd do no homework, but if I didn't have classes, I wouldn't have homework, so I'd probably practice. I guess I'd probably just sit around the time and maybe take a nap in the library every once in a while. After going through four years of high school, suffering from your silent taunts, your non-existent flirtations, and your three dozen miniskirts, all I can say to you is, can I buy you lunch? Cup of coffee? Glass of milk? Milk. It does a body good. Yeah. How are you doing? Well, this is for video Clay Tonians find plenty of love, romance, raw passion, 
and more frequently trite flippancy and plenty of headaches. And in this spirit, two special guests will ask the bachelors, bachelorettes, and the few committed people of CHS a question that will reveal aspects of their innermost character. Our first lucky lady looking for love is Bethany Perrion. Bethany, if you will, please dazzle the viewing audience with an insightful question for our bachelors. What? Oh. What's your favorite pickup line? Hey, haven't I seen you before? Yeah, I've seen you. You're at that party. Woo! That's right. I was the one that helped you to that car. That's right. Hey, didn't you used to be a regular on Soul Train? I've been looking at you for the last past week, and I gotta tell you, honey, you look so sweet. Hey, baby, wanna play Twister? I'll give you three hours of pure ecstasy. Yo, baby, what's up? Do you eat pasta? Come to my house, and we'll get on some Rasta. If you had to be a hostess product, would you be a Tiki, a Ding Dong, or a Ho Ho? Who do you bank with, I suppose? Have you read any good books lately? Excuse me, would you happen to have a light? Now, Bethany, make your choice. Is it bachelor number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten? I'll take bachelor number ten. <laughs> surprise, surprise. John Harbaugh, you are the lucky lady killer who has the opportunity to ask a complex, soul-searching question of the lovely females at CHS. Fire away. Oh, I'd just like to know what all you most eligible bachelorettes look for in a guy. I want him to be my best friend, you know, so I can share all my innermost feelings with him. And he, he's got to be, like, casual, like, not too, not too, not too serious no. about everything. Let's see, a man for me has to be at least... Five foot ten, preferably six two. Somebody that I can hug. Somebody that I can put my arms around and I'm not feeling bones. I like someone with the mind of Emerson and the nose of Thoreau. If he looks good, he's all right with me. <laughs> great personality, um, great body. Huge, absolutely enormous shoulders. Tall, tall, tall. Video men, I like men who do videos. They excite me. Well John, who will it be? Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifteen, six, six, seventy, eight, nine, twenty. Who would have guessed? Dude, sir. Hi. Hi. You're a dude, sir. Hi. Hi, Matt. Hi, Kim. Hi. How you doing? Are you a couple of news? 
On three. Present. One, One two, two, three. No news! Time to build on our new relationship with the Soviet Union. A game of chess against our old adversary. You quit, Scott. Oh, this is heavy. Ready to go to school, Ryan? I wanted to go to school and be like everybody else. What are you doing? I'm trying to drive you to the stove. See, I don't know what's going on. I don't even read the paper. Hi, Columbo. <laughs> Okay, boys, let's go. Fifteen tumbling, the plane was breaking apart. Last night, I ordered U.S. military forces to Panama to bring General Noriega to justice in the United States. free again. I wish to put it plainly that the government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. 
Okay. I'll leave to Clayton High School many philosophic thoughts and some real poetic things for Jason Stevens to write about. Thank you. Um, to Tom Zimmerman, I leave my car because he really needs it. To all our underclassmen, we leave the keys to my house under my mat so we can continue further partnering. I will to my school class spirit, school spirit, I don't know. I will to my class the willingness to succeed. We're leaving our memories. Yeah. Good memories. Yeah. We're leaving love and happiness. <laughs> this is Wendy making her debut, and this is what we are leaving Clayton High School with. I like to leave these ugly shoes that I've had since, uh, I guess since about ninth grade. I like to leave these to Rocky. Rocko! I leave my uh, guitar to Ty and my DX, DX7 to Dave. I'll leave my locker to Dr. Burry and almost die. <laughs> I want to leave my knowledge here. We are leaving a message. A message. Philosophy. Philosophy. Karma shapes our world. If, if, if I could leave something to my class, I would leave my charisma, and my, my good looks, and my athletic ability, and my all-around charm. I will a mean temper and um, <laughs> knowing how to have fun. What already? It doesn't work on these people. My memory of me. And um, all my talents for Broadway. Yeah. I hope you never forget me. And
Oh, there I go. 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 Oh,